Now, I'm here with Peter Thomas. Um, probably six or eight weeks ago it was, wasn't it, that we, yeah. we put in a couple of um, daylighters for his, fish, for his fish tank. I'm back here today just to have a talk to him about it, to show you how incredible it looks and find out why um, natural light is working well for Peter. Peter, okay, tell well, us all about it. The natural light, um, the, the tubes don't give off any heat, so therefore that means they don't heat up the water. Normally when we run fish tanks we have to run metal halide lights and they're usually either 150 or 250 watts and they produce a lot of heat and then that heats up the water. That then means that we have to run a chiller to run to cool, keep the water cool and you have to keep the water cool at a certain degrees because otherwise the zoo and belly and the corals disappear and all the colour goes out of it. Which is sort of oh, so it doesn't actually kill the coral. It, it just doesn't kill the coral. No, it just all the coral bleaches out, right. and all the zooanthellae die, which is a little algae that lives as a coexistence in the coral. Um, and once that happens, then in a closed system in a fish tank, all the um, other corals start to die, and the whole tank dies. Okay. So basically, what these halides are they halides? No, these are just uh, T5 tubes, right? Okay. But they're only there for nighttime viewing. They're not producing anything for the corals. All the oh, corals okay. are getting all their requirements of the sunlight. Okay. So, uh, so these have totally and completely replaced yeah. any uh, halide, halide, halide lights. Yeah. And in the process, the light from them is no heat. Where before your your water was getting hot. That's right. And you've got something on the other side of this wall. Yeah. That actually like a fridge that cools the water back down to keep it at that perfect temperature. That's right. Yeah. And how often do you use that now? Nothing. It hasn't come on in the two and a half weeks that I've had this established. Whereas before, um, that's actually pretty big, isn't it? Yeah. Power wise. Power wise. Well, they're normally run at either one quarter horsepower or. Two, uh, two thirds horsepower. Mm -hmm. So you're talking 750 watts every hour, plus the lack of lighting that I don't use anymore. So I'm probably cutting down something like um, so that's three, three kilowatts, kilowatts an hour. Okay, I'm, I'm not that good with the electricity. So you're talking uh, uh, like 3,000 watts an hour. Yeah, it's a lot of electricity. It's mm -hmm. a huge amount of electricity. Um, probably cutting my electricity bill by somewhere to a third. Because I'll get I'll have serious, them, serious. Yeah, one third. This, okay. Because and and the other thing aspect that I will mention is that um, because these solar tubes are powered by the sun, obviously, yeah. Yeah. I don't have to replace the bulbs ever. Whereas a normal metal halide bulb is somewhere in the vicinity of 150 to 200 dollars each, and they have to be replaced every 12 months. Okay. So over the 10 years or so that I intend to have this aquarium, yeah. it um, will certainly cost a lot less and be a lot less it's yeah it's I'm, I'm going to go home and do the numbers but that that is sounding like these things are going to pay themselves off in probably 18 months oh easy easy, easy. just in the replacement cost of bulbs it'll they'll pay themselves off and you got to also remember that okay i spent some money putting these in and steve put them in but i didn't have to buy metal halide lights and metal halide lighting um, in aquarium fixtures can be anything up to two thousand dollars just for the fitting Right. So then okay. you've got the so, cost of so what you're saying that I should put my prices up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know, but you might get a lot more jobs if you don't. <laughs> Excellent. Peter, look, this is fabulous. Thanks very much for talking to me. I'm, um, I think this is... But there's no fish. Not yet. Oh, so they're still coming? They're coming. Okay, yeah. so there's a marine tank. Have to grow there's, before they... No, the tank's still cycling through. Mm -hmm. um, marine tanks take a little bit of time to build up the requirement of bacteria and stuff to access, to keep all the nutrients and stuff out of the water. Right. So we let the coral cycle through for a while, let the system mature and age a bit, and then we can start to add some fish. There is actually one fish in here, but it's hiding at the moment. Right, okay. So just one to start off with, yep. and then um, in the next few weeks I'll be adding more and more and more. Fabulous. That is that is really great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you very much for your help. Welcome.